Hello there, my name is Kraken, and welcome to another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve. This time I will be showing you how to do an animated webcam border for your Twitch stream. I mean, this is most this is mostly the basics, uh, but and that will hopefully get you a little bit started. Now, to begin with, I've cheated a little bit, it's already started, uh, so I have the foundation and I know what to talk about. Here's how you start. You go into the effects library up here. You go down and you find effects at the bottom. You find fusion composition and you just drag that in. Click and drag that in here. And then you pick how long you want the... Um, you, can, you can click and drag this back and forth. So you can choose how long you want your animation to be. Now, in my case, it's at it's a 10 seconds. Once we get into fusion, we have uh, pretty much what I... Uh, would say is the standard thing. We have a transparent background that makes sure that everything in the absolute background is transparent. Then we have a merge node that gives us a bit of wiggle room on, on the top. As you can see, it gives us a little bit of wiggle room. Not that we need it uh, for, for, for this in particular. We got a rectangle to put out where we're allowed to see the border or the border color, which we have here on this background number one. This is just the color. Um, of course, this is a little bit boring. I mean, what you would get from this is just a colored border, right? But why, like, you don't really need that as a video file. So now, this is where the color corrector comes in. And I've give, given it a few keyframes. And all that is is the hue, as you can see over here. So as we go back, it goes from minus one all the way up to one. But does, so that means that you get this rainbow effect, or RGB, I should say, is like, you go through the entire RGB spectrum. So you get that. And that's just one effect you can do. If you then uh, add the soft glow, you can get even, you can get even cooler. Then, then you get a glow. We turn on and off, you can see the difference. You get a glowing border instead. Now, the way that you find, because the soft glow might not be that easy to find, the way to find the soft glow is to press Control Space. Then you get up this little menu, and you can just say uh, glow. It was like, what kind of glow? You want soft glow, which is the one I've used here. And then you can tweak the settings as I have. Um, you can tweak them to your liking. So if you don't like this, but you still want to glow, you can tweak it so that maybe it will be the way that you like it. Plus, you can change. Pretty much anything about your border you can see in the corners if i zoom in zoom in in the corners suddenly they are now they're round it's a bit more square now they're just totally square as you can see it also affects the glow so that's just part of the things that you can do now i have made uh this is my own uh my own border. This is how that looks. I saved that over here. It's a lot more animation to it. Um, it's not exactly easy, but ends up looking a little bit like this as it's rendering. But as you can see, it's not just the square anymore, and that's because of this media in that I have. So in my media pool, I have a camera frame. You need a picture like this where you just have a border around it the way you want it to be. I am choosing to do this in 1920 by 1080 so that everything kind of matches up. So we have the same aspect ratio. Like my webcam is 720, but we still go with the same aspect ratio. So 1080p is just 1.5 times my webcam size, which means that they, they scale to each other. If you have a weird webcam that for some reason does 900p, you need to figure out the scale or just do it in 900p. That you can do. So, what I actually do here to make this is that I have a gradient. Now, there's not much to this gradient apart from the fact that I have a transparent background at the bottom over here. And then I have a less transparent background 
uh, for or actually it's still a transparent background over here, so we can get like the sharper colors. You can see it kind of messes it up. So if we put that somewhere around here, we get a little bit more of a crisp uh, cutout for the lines. And then after that, uh, all I do is to line up these two lines so that they go from one corner to the other. So if we go back to frame zero. I position it like this is how I want it to start. This is that's all it is. I just I want it to start here. Another thing I have for for everything to turn, but as you can see with the merge down here, if I it will it turns around, which then provides that the entire thing also making sure that it does not it stays outside of the corners. But yeah, after that, all that is um once you've kind of made some kind of animation and you can test this out like this is just the the general idea uh how to get it to fit uh onto your onto your actual camera and i'll show how to set that up uh in a second how to set that up in obs um so yeah so in order to to move on i have mul i have two videos on how to export stuff like this to a WebM file that you can then use in something like um, Stream Elements or uh, Stream Labs. Uh, I they will be in the I cards above in the corner. Be right back. And here we are in Stream Elements with my camera frame. Now I have a bunch of unused things here, but that's not to be alarmed by the size of this. Is 1080p and is uh, scaled down in OBS. That is the size it's supposed to be. Uh, and all you really do is that you put in a video source, which you just have inside of the static slash custom, you put in a video source. You pick out the video, it just so happens to be your um your camera frame. I have a few uh, a few options here. Well, they just so happen to be your camera frames. Uh, you plug that in. Or you, you, yeah, you, you, you put that in. You size it. You tweak whatever widgets you want on here to your liking. You hit save. And you take the URL into a browser source inside of OBS, just like you would any other alert. Okay, so now that we are in OBS, what you then want to do is go have a separate scene or the way i do it <laughs> okay so now that we're in obs the way i set this up is that i have a scene that just has my camera it just holds the camera um and then has um uh so what i then want to do is that i go into another one which is which then has my camera with the frame and all the stuff i have on it uh i then go into the camera scene and I then go into the camera scene, open the filters, and then I have image mask blend. Now this attaches it to the um, the scene, so that you so you can still use your square camera for something else, like I do. If you don't need your square camera for anything, and you you're cool with this, you can you don't have that extra scene. Um, you just do it in here, and you just attach this directly to to the thing. Um, but then I have I have a picture that is the inside of that black border that I used earlier. This one I used uh, I made white, uh, and that is so that it, we can just utilize the default down here. Uh, but then we we just select uh, alpha mask alpha channel because if we do other things we kind of get this effect is like blurred out a little bit, um, or we can get like let multiply and addition <laughs> get, get as subtract you can also use uh but then you still get a little bit but if you just do the alpha mask alpha channel you get a nice one now of course this uh image is in 720p because that is what my camera is both images are exported in 720 the video that makes up the animation is in 1080 so it can still scale down and it will fit 
perfectly as you can see. Hopefully this has been helpful. If not, then uh, do leave a comment about what you did not find helpful. If, um, if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments or find me on Discord. That is also a okay. Yeah, my name's been cracking, and uh, hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.